I feel 
browning. She liked cooking. I like to tell her how I miss my mama's cooking. Hey, I didn't want to follow her ways. And she wasn't willing to change. We argued over big things, over small things, even for nothing. I used logic. I used emotion. I even showed her a role model. Darling, why can't you just be perfect like me? Within six months, he grew a path. And the one move, we were two people living in solitude. No holding hands, no music, only silence. Looking for solutions, I asked my friend Jane. He just had his divorce. He was the expert. Jane said, man, life is short. Don't suffer. Separate. No, Jane, I just want to fix it. Exactly. My lawyer will fix it. I called my mom. Next day, she spoke to both Sindhu and me. She said, you will never find a partner who is 100% perfect. You fall in love because of Cupid's arrow. But what keeps you in love is Cupid's bow. You see, the bow and the string have a great partnership. The more the string pulls back, the more the bow bends. Ego is what pulls the string. Still the mighty bow bends because it cares for the partner. When she pulls, you bend. When you pull, she bends. If you pull too hard, your relationship will break. If you want to fix it, both of you need to pull less. Bend.
So may I request the first guest to introduce yourself to the audience. You can just mention your name, the place you work for, who introduced you to Toastmasters. Good evening everybody. My name is Paul Mantilla. I am from Ecuador. Ecuador, if you don't know, is a country in South America between Colombia and Peru. So I came here to Abu Dhabi seven months ago and before coming here I was living in Belgium. I was working for MasterCard and I was part of the Toastmaster Club in, in MasterCard for almost two years. So I finished the competent manual uh, and I'm really happy to be here again and to see how how you manage things and how the club is, is working here. So it's, it's a very nice experience for me to be back to Toastmasters and uh, yeah, I hope uh, we can see more in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the first thing which comes to my mind when I hear about South America is none other than Che Guevara. Che Guevara. Che Guevara. Ah, yeah. I don't know how he's pronounced. Yeah, yeah. Che Guevara. <laughs> so he is the one person who was really faced challenges and overcome most of them. Now, Madam. Hello. Hi. I see I am the only one female here. Okay. My name is Archana. I work for higher colleges of technology as a teacher, as a maths teacher. So I heard about Toastmaster and I wanted to improve my public speaking skills. So this is my first time in my joining. Welcome to the club. Now, I am being supported by a good group of uh, members. They play different supporting roles to make this meeting successful. So allow me to introduce my team to the audience. So may I introduce the climate for this meeting, Toastmaster Puran Rai. Please. Conversation, but 
is different from the way people usually express themselves. Another role as a grammarian, I am responsible for commenting on language, language usage during the course of meeting. Throughout the meeting, I will be listening to everyone's word usage, writing down any accord use or misuse of the language. With a note, with the error. I will also write down who used the word of the day and note those words correctly or incorrectly. So I will request all of them to use these words in everybody's uh, speech and also in future their usage in language. Over to you. Thank you. That was a audacious introduction for that word. So now the next word is the one and only distinguished Toastmaster of uh, Musafat Toastmasters Club will be the favorite topics master today. So may I request Toastmaster P.O. Anthony to be on the dais and introduce his role. Good evening once again. Good evening. Good evening. My, my role is to be the table topic master today. The table topic speech is intended to help members to develop their ability to organize their thoughts quickly and respond to any wrong question or a topic. Topic master that's me this time will give a brief description about the subject after the introduction of the speaker. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare the speech and your time is 1 to 2 minutes with a grace period of 30 seconds in total. I hope you understand the thing about the topics. Over to you. The general value of this meeting is uh, Toastmaster Sanal. He is comparatively new but he has taken courage to be the general evaluator of the meeting, which is a very important uh, role. May I request Toastmaster Sanal to be on the last nice meeting. Because you are holding that coconut. What you have to do simply 
let it go. Then you will feel your peace and happiness. Sometimes you can expect your partner should be something like this, as they tell you a speech. And you don't find exact whatever your expectation you will not find in your partner. So whenever some things in there, what you have to do, let it go. Then your mind will be peace. And you will, if you are searching for that happiness, let it go. This will lead you for a peaceful and happy life. Let it go. Thank you, Rasmasa Rajesh, for that wonderful talk. Since I have mentioned our inherent desire to overcome challenges, let me tell you a few steps which will help all of us to face challenges we, we face on our daily life. The first step is when you face a serious problem, you need to accept it as a challenge. The general human behavior is to ignore the problem. Even if you feel that it is going to bite you as a real trouble, you tend to ignore. Or you or you treat it as very minor. But the first and foremost step is to accept that you are facing a challenge. Unless otherwise you identify that as a challenge, it will not prepare you to face it. Step number two is to evaluate the facts. You need to think the factors which lead you to that problem. Analyze, try to understand the bigger picture. Then only you will be able to face that challenge. Once you evaluate and you have realized the problem, the third step is to identify the resources availability. Every problem or, or different problems require different resources. Some of the problems require your time, additional time, extra time. Some problems require money. Some issues require additional help. You need somebody to help you physically. So you need to identify what are the resources available to you. And you need to identify what are your strong points. And you, you need to realize what are your weak points. Once you have it, you are prepared to face any challenge. Point number four is always better to have a mentor. It might be your, your, your parents, your spouse, your partner, your close friends. It could be anybody. If it is a technical issue, it might be Google. So you need to identify a good supporting resource to resolve the issue. Fifth step is attack the problem. You need to take some steps. Once you do the preliminary four steps, you are, you are ready now to actually tackle the problem. Always remember, the more you delay it, you are into deeper trouble. Don't think the first few steps you have taken will lead to a conclusion. Majority of the serious challenges will not get resolved by first few steps. So you need to identify the shortcomings of whatever steps you have, steps you have taken and keep on trying till you find a genuine solution. With that step, let us continue with the agenda. So generally the agenda is broken down into three parts. The first one is prepared speeches, second is speech evaluation and the third is table topics. So today we have two dynamic speakers to present their project speeches. So we have a volunteer.
here to present to, to light up our session before we get into the serious uh, uh, session. Toastmaster Rajesh would like to crack a joke. Show the reaction, smiling. 
No. <laughs> that time, the person who fell down the road by accident, he is smiling, okay, we can know he is okay. The next step, think less. If you have any problem or issues, don't think more. First thing, how he will solve that issue or uh, how we can get solution for that issue. Then get the solution as soon as possible and fix it. One of my bad habit was before. If I had any mistake, I think always that mistake. Like it cleared me more mistakes. Nowadays I change that. If I had any mistake, first I will think how can I solve that mistake? Because uh, I had five uh, people under me. Means a technician working under me. They have eight problems. It's become all come to me. Can you solve this issue? Can you solve this issue? <laughs> Then nowadays I started to solve it. If I had any problem, the next step, <coughs> the solution for that issue and fix it. The third one, be present. Everyone, everyone be present always. Don't quit. If you have any life, means someone who need really help them, don't skip it. In my starting days, my work, I am always afraid to take the job. Then one of my seniors uh, told me, Arun, you are new now, don't skip or don't Keep it from your uh, job. This is the right time for learning something new. Because you are new, everyone will help you. That if you have any chance or get chance to learn new job, take it and do it. Everyone will help. The fourth step: give more. The most useful asset of a common man, it's not uh, the head full of knowledge, but the heart full of love and the ears open and hand willing to help. Always give more, more than someone expect from you. Don't say bye or be seen to anyone who really need you help or something. The fifth step, expect less. If you want to have a successful and happier relationship with your people, always expect less. Don't expect when you fall down, always someone will help you. Always expect from the people less. Follow this five step, you can find the happiness in your life. Thank you. That was a very beautiful speech. Five very simple steps everybody can adopt. And what is the outcome? Happiness. In five simple and easy steps. So let's find out what Rashid has in store for us. So first of all, Rashid is going to deliver his project number four. The timing remains the same. So may I request first of all, Deepak Joseph, who is going to evaluate his speech to read out the audio. Great, first of all, first of all, Rashid is delivering his project number four and its objectives are select the right words and sentence structure to communicate your ideas clearly, accurately and vividly. Use rhetorical devices to enhance and emphasize the ideas. Eliminate jargon and unnecessary words. Use correct grammar. The time of the day is 5 to 7 minutes. All the best of
recently I was going back home after a busy office day with my colleague. While driving to the home, we found there is a small accident happening in the road. With an audacious movement, my friend stopped the car. He got on and we found one person is bleeding and glass is broken. He did some first aid things and called the police and it helped to stop the bleeding actually. Toastmaster of the evening, dear Toastmasters and guests, a very good evening. <laughs> like all of you, I was also very surprised how he could do this. As of now, I know only thing that UAE law is not permitted anybody to involve an accident site. So I asked him, after all things are done, I asked him, maybe is there any problem for you? He showed me one card. He said, no, I'm a licensed fact, so I can give first aid to anybody who is in danger. So fact. FAT means first aid provider. So how many of you are having this license? No good. I can three people. I have a Very good. At least two. Well, if we are thinking it's only a duty of doctor or nurses, whoever is involved in medical field, no. Just think of the environment we are living at present. Suppose this room, we are sitting very convenient, but think of inside the wall, the electricity is buzzing, it's very dangerous. Think of the kitchen, gases, explosive. Go out, out to your flat, the HP, horsepower, motor car, 120 minimum speed here. So, first I provided license is actually necessary for all of us and it's a very small thing. Two days or one day full day course, very few drops, I think 700, 750 maximum. Okay, now considering the environmental or individual emergencies, there is individual emergencies such as this is small thing like bleeding, burn, fracture, or a heart attack. There is environmental emergencies, fire, electric shorts, natural calamities, whatever. Now let me ask you one small question. How many of you kept a first aid box in your vehicle or home? Oh, it is more than what I expected. How many of you have the emergency number? In your mobile, your building security number, or the health or the police number, emergency. Nice, nice, nice. Everybody knows this. Okay, for accident, you have to go. Okay, Actually, if any emergencies happen in your office building or the uh, your flats, you are not allowed to call 999 directly. You have to call the security in charge first. And they will call the police. Okay, well. So basic role of a FAP. What is the basic role of a FAP? Keep, make sure first aid kits are maintained. Keep the emergency numbers, as I said. And basic training for a FAP license. Only three steps. You can save your life. It's not a small. So basic actions. You can recognize and you can remember this with one small word R P C. Whenever you see one action sentence, just to remember first step is R P C. Recognize there is an emergency. If somebody is falling down, you call emergency police and police can. There is no use. Recognize there is an emergency that we need to involve. Phone your local emergency number, P. 
C, clear this side and make sure C is safe. If there is glass is broken and the person is still laying down there, maybe it can more more, just keeping little far or make things clear. And start your provide, start providing first aid. And give the advanced medical team arrives. Because you already call police, you already clean the sites, and you, have, you can start giving providing the first aid until the advanced medical team arrives. How to give? This we will discuss slowly. I mean little. There is individual emergencies like burn, fracture. So in the case of burn, the first step is RPC. Don't follow an RPC. What is RPC? Recognize emergencies, phone the authority, clear the site. And the very first you need to start check breathing. Check breathing is <coughs> very important. If the person is not breathing, you have to start the giving breathing analysis and the advanced step. So, clean with normal water, don't use the uh, cold water or rice water as most of us use. Then breathing as I was saying, the first step as I said, RPC, check breathing, then bandage. Tie upper part of the body, yes. Where is the bone? Suppose your bone is here, just make sure your bandage, you give bandage first, then tie up strongly to the upper part, so more bleeding will not come. Don't keep the bleeding part lower or up, yeah. You don't keep like this or like this, just keep normal. The fracture. Same, RPC, check the break, tie with a stick, yeah. If any fracture, just tie with a stick. The object is little bit longer than the fracture thing. To conclude, practice a good hygiene. Don't get infected from the site. And good Samaritan laws, be aware of the law. Over to you. It's a bit, bit tricky 
but let me explain that with a small incident which you can easily relate. Two weeks back, Tospas PO gave a challenge to me to be the Tospas of this meeting. I spent some time and gathered all this information. And it did add value to my personality. It refined me. So, that's the outcome of the challenge. So look at every challenge as a learning experience. It is teaching you something very valuable. And you are better prepared to face the next bigger challenge once you overcome a challenge. And another point is you need to always remind yourself about the good things in your life. So challenges are not the only things you face in your life. There are so many good things which we tend to ignore because of the problems we face. You had a fight or your, your boss fired you at the office. You come back home and you have a loving wife and children waiting for you. So why can't you leave your boss's abuses at the office? Come to your home and enjoy that warmth of the relationship. But we normally don't do that. We carry our problems with us all the time. And doing that, by doing it, we are losing big things because we are losing all the good things in our life. And the fifth point is, it's always better to have a goal in your life. You need to keep something to inspire you and that goal or an item of thing to inspire you will definitely make things simple and easy. So that gives you something else to spend your time. It allows you to forget the problems you face. And the last and the most important thing is Believe in yourself. Understand otherwise you have confidence in yourself. You are going to fail. So develop that confidence. Spend time, resources and build up that confidence in you. Which will for sure make your life a success. So let's get on with the evaluations. We have two evaluators, so may I request the time of those master to read out the time of the evaluation? Good evening, Mr. Masters. Good evening. The time allotted for evaluators is 2 to 3 minutes, plus or minus 30 seconds. At 2 minutes, I will show the green light. At 2 and a half minutes, I will show the yellow light. And at 3 minutes, I will show the red light until the speaker is finished. The first evaluator is so, Sponsor Sulfikar Ali. So, Sponsor Sulfikar will be evaluating the time for the speeches on the day of the day. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah. So, now the time taken by the speaker. Good evening again. Toastmaster uh, Arun Manikandan, 5 minutes 32 seconds. Toastmaster Rasheed, 7 minutes 15 seconds. So, both are qualified. Right. So, Toastmaster Sulfikar Ali will be evaluating Toastmaster Arun Monikandan's project number two. Good evening once again to all of you. Good evening. Uh, today, Toastmaster Arun once again proved his audacious ability by bringing happiness in my own life. Let's give a big round of applause to Postmaster. It was an excellent speech. He also delivered a very well manner. Today I would like to give a speech in two parts. First, I would like to speak about, about his speech. Second, I would like to give the way where he can improve the future speech. Coming to the first part, 
I'll just uh, compare with object in the space, number, project number four. The, the first objective was uh, select an appropriate outline which allows the business to easily follow and understand that space. He well managed that objective and also used some personal jobs and it was also interesting for all of the audiences. And also he simply narrated with simple topic, happiness. And also spring is smiling, also during speeches everybody was laughing. It was a good moment. The second objective was make a use message clear with the supportive material. So he built the material, it was an excellent, it was a mission for everyone. It was a good Third objective was use appropriate transition when moving from one uh, one idea to another. He understood it very well because he was said five things and also he explained one by one. And also there is no lag in the movement also. Because he was talking one by one for about each topic and it was an excellent. And also he is all the audience was easily understand. And also my contact was good because he was concentrated not only one person, he was looking everywhere and it's even each and every person. Body castle was good, it was excellent because it was more to his body and everything was good. And I can notice from his face because he was always, see, I can see a smi smile in his face. It was good. And also I, I prefer to, I, I request Mr. Prosmas Aaron to keep all the space in his smile, his smile in his future project as well as in your real life. Coming to the second part. Because I am not much senior to uh, advise you, but as you see, in every space there is an area for improvement. So I would like to give some suggestion for your future space, which may help you for the better performance. Today you got some uh, percent, uh, presentation, but if you uh, if you take this presentation through visual. It should be much better and also you can replace the stage properly because during the speech it was distracting for you because you are coming to take one by each and every paper. So if you avoid that system and if you use the visual presentation, it should be much better and if you use this presentation in the few seconds. Other than this, the speech was very good and also excellent performance. So all the very best was must have. Thank you.